Hey, it's BrickNerd2K16 coming at you with a LEGO Minecraft set. This is set 21119. Uh, it's called The Cave, retailed for $20 and contains 249 pieces. So, yeah, this was the cheapest of the first wave of Minecraft sets. And it was also the cheapest way to get the zombie and the spider minifigure, who uh, only came in the mine, I believe. That was the only other set they were in. Steve comes in every set, this time he gets an iron pickaxe and some other accessories and we'll take a look at them later. But first, let's dive right into the main build. So taking a look at the cave, uh, first off there aren't very many play features uh, except for, uh, you know, because they want to leave it all up to your imagination, but you can take off many of these blocks and uh, they just pop off, they're attached by a 2x2 two two jumper plate. And uh, they, you, you end up making a lot of lots and lots of bricks, but that's fine because it just allows for more play to be able to take them apart. Um, so yeah, this cave looks to be a naturally generated cave, judging just by how open it is, and you've got the grass out here. Um, probably some naturally spawning water and lava. Now the lava uh, is very low resolution, but that's just because they're using the standard one by one blocks in there, but you do get two uh, tr nice translucent orange bricks, which are really nice. Uh, it's got these slope bricks just to get that nice angled bit, and obviously some natural forming obsidian due to the um, interaction between water and lava. But uh, yeah, there's also a ladder leading up there to a little chest. Uh, I doubt it's naturally generated, I don't know if you get naturally generated uh, chests in caves. Besides in dungeons, but this isn't a dungeon. But um, uh, you can open it up, it's in the nougat colour, and you just get a uh, piece of bread. Um, any minifigure can hold the bread by the back, if you've seen how Lego bread works. Just like that. And um, you also get two torches, there's one up here and then one down there. Now the last accessory is the bucket, it's a, a grey bucket with a tan handle. So you can attach that to any of the studs, and if you look in the water and lava, there are just some one studs, so you can put them in the bucket, have either a bucket of lava, or you can take that out, or you can have a uh, bucket of water, and that's just a translucent dark blue stud in there. So yeah, and then of course, Steve or the zombie could, uh, have, could, hold, this, could hold this bucket of water. Just like that. Looks looks pretty good. But yeah, it looks all too... Uh, it's, all, it's all very much to scale, pretty much, for the most part. But, um, you know, typically in Minecraft, uh, two blocks is the height of a player. Obviously, in this case, that is not the case. That's technically two blocks. I mean, two blocks is probably like this high. But yeah, it's... So, I mean, there are a few inaccuracies but um, yeah you get some ores and we'll take a look at them closer the last thing you get is this TNT which is just two printed uh, one by twos with a uh, red jumper plate and then a uh, round black one at the bottom and you can put that anywhere you can pretend to blow stuff up with it you know I mean, this is all just very loosely attached so you could really do some destruction <laughs> if you want to but yeah, let's take a closer look at some of the ores. You get four different types of ores in this set. You get the gold ore, the coal ore, the redstone ore, and the iron ore. And uh, basically, they're just basically the same build, which is with different uh, one by one round studs. For the gold, they obviously use the gold studs. Um, for the coal, they use black studs. The redstone, they use translucent red. And for iron, they use uh, tan is a brighter tan than it should be, but uh, that's just so it will stand out in the dark colours. When you, if it's you know, dark when you're using it, it doesn't look like black, uh, which they would have, which it would look like you know, if they had used brown or a darker colour. But yeah, we'll also take a closer look at uh, some of the other blocks you get. Lots and lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of these stone blocks or yeah cobblestone stone 
and then you also get quite a few of these, I'm not going to take them all off, but um, yeah, they're basically just a 2x2 two two with a 2x2 two two jump plate on. And you end up making a lot, a lot of these, but uh, yeah. Anyway, let's move on. So there are just a few more things I wanted to show you with the uh, the set. Uh, you can remove this top layer, like this, it's just connected by a few jumper plates. So you could have this off to the side, or just move it out for play, and then it does sort of get you easier access to that area down there, which is a, a nice little space, you can put a minifigure down there, have them chill out. This is a very good place to use the uh, TNT, because almost all of this will just pop right out. All of that basically can just fly out. And um, well, there's some more on that side as well. So yeah, it's very. There's lots of lots of these blocks back here, and uh, just show you everything that came out. Lots of stone blocks, a couple ores. But yeah, it's just fun to play around with, and it makes the TNT really useful in this set. But yeah, let's take a look at those minifigs. So you only get two minifigs in this set, plus the spider, but I don't really count the spider as a, a minifig. The first one we're going to take a look at now is going to be Steve, and you get Steve in all of the Minecraft sets, except some of the ones in the new wave, uh, where you got Alex. I think the Iron Golem is the only one that comes with just Alex, but uh, I'm, not, I'm not sure. But uh, if you take a look at him, look at him, he just gets the purple legs, the dark Zool uh, shirt with uh, the pale hands, the... And obviously some of that uh, pale printing there uh, under the neck. But uh, then the head is a brand new mold for the Minecraft wave. And uh, it goes on just like any other head. It's got an anti-stud on the bottom. Makes it stick out. It's only got printing on this one side. The rest of it's just brown. And they made this in lots of other colours. Uh, they made it in green, black, um, white and orange for pumpkins, skeletons, endermans and zombies. And uh, creepers as well, but um, yeah, cool minifig to get. Just uh, looks really nice, and uh, yeah, really nice minifig. He gets the iron pickaxe there with some printing on. That was a new mold. Uh, I think it might have been exclusive to this set in the first wave, but I think they've used it in other sets. It's also in the dungeon uh, from the second wave. Next up is the zombie, and uh, really to have the zombie work you have to have the arms out in this sort of position. So that's how they always have them out in the game. Uh, basically the most basic printing on the face for him, and basically the same uh, torso as Steve, except for where it was uh, pale on his, uh, it's just the standard green there. So he gets the uh, purple legs, so it's obviously a great way to get purple legs if you need purple legs for something. But uh, yeah, his head is exactly the same, uh, just got the anti-stud bottom, and you can uh, stick these to uh, studs, or in the middle of four studs, but um, yeah. Okay, so finally, here's the spider, um, the one thing I don't really like about the spider mod is just how low the head is, I feel like the head needed just be a bit higher, uh, it is very articulatable, oh. So it doesn't really stick to studs unless you stick it down all the way like that. So I'll move this out of the way but, and just show it to you. Uh, we do get the T-bars. The now they're used there in black. And as I said, the only way you could, other way you could get this was in the cave. You can fold up all the legs like that. But, uh, yeah. Um, sort of wriggle these apart and just to make give it look at more of that natural feel. Uh, I do like the head. Uh, the head is printed very nicely there, looks very much like the spider does in game, but uh, yeah, then you can fold the legs down, I think it does look better like that, just because it raises the head up a bit more, but uh, yeah. Uh, let's see, there we go. There he is, down there. Yeah, he can wiggle around. He is also just a bit big, I wish they'd sized him down, but I think for a brick-built mob, uh, he's a pretty good size. Unless they made, like, a whole new mold. But, um, yeah, that's it. So, just one more thing I want to show you, and then we'll get to the, uh, the final verdict. Now, in the instruction manuals, uh, they do give you rebuild inspiration, and, um, they give you just, like, basic instructions. You take off those two parts, and then you build... 
basically that, and that's what it looks like. Um, but yeah, this is what that looks like when it's done. It's just another way you could set it up, just for, you know, increased play. It's very easy to build. It'd be easy, basically just build that, and I just put the chest up there, didn't really say anywhere to specifically put it, so, yeah. But, um... Overall, this is a really nice set, uh, definitely for $20, definitely recommend getting it. I don't know if you could get it anymore, but I'm sure you can find it in stores somewhere. But uh, it's a really great set. Uh, I'm going to be reviewing the, uh, I'm going to be reviewing the, um, the dungeon set next, which is the other, which is another $20 Minecraft set. And just, and then uh, do a comparison on which one is better. So be looking for those, they'll be coming soon but yeah thank you guys for watching this video i hope you have enjoyed remember to leave a like comment and subscribe and i'll see you all next time goodbye